What's going on YouTube? I hope you guys are having a great day. It's your boy Apathy back with another video. And as you can see, I'm pretty happy and ecstatic just because we placed third slash fourth at UMG South Carolina. Obviously, you know, that's something you want to be happy about and proud of. I would have been a little bit more happy if we would have won the event, but something I can't complain of. And this is my probably my fourth, fifth time doing this video. I've been doing this for almost an hour now. I mean, I've been talking to myself into a camera for almost an hour now because I just want perfection. I obviously want to deliver a good video for you guys coming back from UNG South Carolina, you know, talking about the event, but you know, I think I got it, you know, so let's get right into it. So first off, I want to talk about two things really quickly. One, shout out to my team. My team played phenomenal all event. You know, I couldn't be happier with the way they played. Obviously, uh, during the LG time when we played LG for top two, uh, we didn't play that hot. We we're obviously very exhausted and tired after a long ass day of playing Call of Duty. And we all could have played a little better. But I mean, before that, my team played phenomenal. I honestly had a phenomenal phenomenal event as well. Uh, individually, I thought I played very good. And my team just played very good throughout the event. I mean, Burns was doing some crazy shit. Study was doing some crazy shit. Even Merc was doing some crazy shit. Holding his shit down, you know, picking up crazy important kills. And, you know, I'm just so happy with the way we played. Our communication, our effort. Everything was there, and you know, I couldn't be happier with that. Honestly, like I said, you know, placing top three, top third slash fourth, or just top three if you want to say, uh, was something we really wanted to aim at. If we could have won the event, would have been like a Cinderella story, would have been amazing, but we just ran out of juice towards the end. We obviously wanted to make a big statement as well going to this event. A lot of people doubted us. A lot of people thought they were probably shit. You know, they, we, we played against a lot of teams online. Uh, we traded map count or we'd beat them. And I guess, uh, you know, people thought we sucked or whatever the case was. We all, all had a lot to prove. Myself as well, especially individually. A lot of people talk shit about me sometimes. You know, whether it's my skill, whether it's online warrior, whether whatever it is. So I had a lot to prove this event. You know, I, I'm pretty sure I made a big statement. I played very well throughout the whole event. I had some clutch plays. I had a lot of kills as well. You know, that's my thing. I just run around and kill shit. So, I mean, we did that. We just did that. We showed that we can play with the big boys now. We beat FaZe, Complexity. I mean, those, other than beating like all the other teams like E6, C9, uh, Velocity, a lot of like the open bracket teams, we, I think we made the biggest statement beating Cole and especially FaZe. We showed that we, what we're made of, that we know we're a very good team and that we're what we're capable of. And it just shows that, you know, that the grind pays off. I mean, you guys were watching me every single day. I was streaming like 12 hours a day I did some days that I did a 24-hour stream I did a 14 hours 15 hour stream you know I mean every day I was playing so much I gave up the gym made so many sacrifices I mean I literally guys I haven't been to a gym in almost two months which is it's hard for me but you know I was just so focused in gaming I was so focused in getting back to it you know this is what I want this is what I love to do and I know that I got to put in the time I haven't even worked out like even at home in almost three weeks which is pretty crazy for for even a guy like me like the most I went out with went without working is one two weeks max so, I mean, you know, I've just been so focused, but the grind is paying off. I've been playing so many wagers, played money aids, played with my team every day. You know, I mean, it, it's paid off, like, literally. Like, it shows that, it shows everybody, not not just CWL teams, not just everyone. Like, it shows everybody that the grind does pay off. Hard work does pay off. And I try to, you know, make that statement every single day. And I try to show you guys, you know, through what I'm living. You guys know I've been through a lot of shit. You guys know that I've been through a lot of you know just bad situations unfortunate things but i'm here doing it again i'm here showing you guys that hard work does pay off you know i myself like i said i had a crazy good event individually and you know i'm happy with the way i performed you know i'm very happy with the way i performed you know i performed exactly how i wanted to just like i always say in my videos guys just don't give up you know keep going working out work hard you know how do you get better how, like i get this question asked all the time how do i get better apathy like what can i do to become better work hard play more grind more i mean that is the biggest thing when it comes to becoming better the more you play snd the more situational plays you're going to be in obviously you're going to learn other things like positioning uh where people sit at but you're obviously going to get better individually just because you're going to learn how to do what to do in certain situations and you're going to just uh, you're going to just keep learning 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 and it's all it is it's like trial and error constantly as you play the game and you figure out what's the best if i push this spot what to do next time what not to do and it's all about playing grinding that's all i've been doing every time i grind and play a lot it, it just shows in my gameplay like i play phenomenal you know online i was playing amazing but when it comes to land i'm just more focused you know my head's straight into it. like i'm just all there like i want to win this you know i want to prove a point and like i said this weekend we pretty much did we won the whole open bracket and we beat we went to be complexity then phase for a top four top third three slash fourth finish unfortunately losing to lg for one uh, first two maps could have gone our way 
But, you know, we were up 4-0 in, in the S&D. They, they ended up winning the S&D 6-4, which is really heartbreaking. The first hard point, we had like a 60-70 point lead, almost like uh, like two minutes left in the game. And they just came back in and won the map. It's like, uh, you know, we gave it our all. Could have gone a lot better for us. Could have took the first two maps and then even possibly. And then I think we won the third map. Yeah, so we could have. There was a possible. We won the, the third map. We could have gone up 3-0 off the break. Uh, since we didn't do that, we went down 2-0. Uh, luckily, we took the next map. You know, it was really unfortunate. Even if we just would have went up 2-1 and won the search and not choke a 4-0 lead in search and destroy, we could have, there's a, a huge possibility we could have won. But, you know, going to the fourth, fifth map, sixth map, we were just drained. I mean, we had people barely calling out. We've been up since 7 a.m., got like five hours of sleep, you know, going hard against every single match. You know, even FaZe, going going the last map 4-3, they played phenomenal. I told Clay this. I'm like, you guys would not let us win. Like, you guys made us work so hard for it. I remember playing FaZe. I'm yelling at the top of my lungs, going so fucking hard, you know, just giving it in my all. And they literally drained us, you know. Start off against LG. Obviously, we have momentum. We had that fire. We took it for the first, like, three maps. And after that... You know, especially not losing, winning those first two maps. You know, we're just we're just kind of drained out at that point. You know, uh, we just been playing all day. Imagine playing nine hours straight Call of Duty, like yelling, giving your all, going 120 per, like 50 percent. It just it's pure exhaustion at that point. If I think if we would have slept at least like seven eight hours, uh, we could have gone a little bit farther. But I mean, it's all good. You know, I'm still happy with the way we place. Even if we were to beat LG and win a grand finals, honestly, unless like we all just like chugged like G Fuel Monster and Red Bull. Uh, we probably would have lost that regardless. So, I mean, even though LG lost, you know, I mean, at least they got the second place. And also, shout out to Rice for winning the event. You know, uh, I mean, you know, they, they did their thing. They're a good team, obviously. They won the Totino's land or whatever it was. And they won this event. So, shout out to them. LG, shout out to LG for placing second. I have nothing but love for, you know, the squad. Renato replays uh, John and Spacely. But in the end of the day, they were the better team. We just couldn't close out. You know, closing out those first three maps were very important. Then they won the next, like, then we won the, I think, the uplink or something. Then they won the, the bridge C to won the next two maps. And it's 1-4-1. Nothing we could really do about it. They were just a better team at the time. And, you know, we learned a lot this event. We obviously got a lot of momentum. I mean, a lot of confidence. We learned a lot, like, what not to do, what to do. And with this 25K tournaments coming up, I feel very confident, you know, playing in them with my squad. Uh, we still have a lot to prove. I mean, we we made a pretty big statement at the event, but now we're going to keep going. We're going to keep playing, practicing every single day, fixing the little mistakes. You know, we barely had any mistakes at the event, but obviously there's a little bit here and there, and we're just going to work on fixing them. So before I go, uh, this this video is definitely like two, three times shorter, literally two, three times shorter. The other videos were like 20, about 20 to 25 minutes long. Uh, I just want to say one thing, shout out to the squad, the pack, the family, all the followers, the fans, the subscribers, everybody, you know, I have nothing but love for you guys, it means so much to me the support you guys have been giving me all weekend and just in general, you know, throughout the years, uh, honestly man, it, like, I say this with all my heart and it's because I mean it, you guys have no idea how much th that support means to me, uh, just helping me go on every single day, helping me continue to do what I do, keeping that fire and that motivation inside of me. Like, I motivate you guys, I inspire you guys, but at the same time, you do the same to me. And I'm not gonna cry, but guys, I'm not. But I just wanna say thank you so much, and it just it means truly means a lot to me. And I you know I, I truly feel that if I never had the support since day one, I probably wouldn't be as far as I am right now, or it wouldn't be, wouldn't have gone as far as I have. And you know, you know, like shit year last, I uh, had a shit year last year at AW. Things could've gone so differently. I could've gone, I could've done so much better. Uh, with teams, the situations, events, but shit happens, you know, there's nothing I could do about it, you know, I always look back at the past and be like, fuck, man, I fucked up, or whatever it was, but I just gotta let go, you know, keep working on the future, you know, there's nothing else I could do about the past, all I could focus is on the future and the now, so that's what I'm doing right now, you know, making my statement, playing every day, practicing every day, you know, showing people what I'm made of and that I can compete at the highest level, that, I'm a, that I'm, I am a top sub player, that I came to play, and I'm no joking i'm not i'm not i'm not joking around but yeah guys much love to all of you hope you guys enjoyed this sort of umg recap video and just like a vlog video uh hope you guys all have a great day this has been your boy apathy stay cool stay easy i want to be the very best no one ever was all right guys don't forget to like i'm subscribe this has been your boy apathy and i'm out peace